This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. AFTV, Jake, what a win today. Wow, what a win. The only game in the whole season that we want to win, and we won. But our performance was the bonus. We were happy that we won, but we smile and we enjoy it because we performed so well, especially in that first half. Mm. Derby's come down to two things, either errors or the team that wants it more. And both today, we wanted it more and we didn't commit that many errors. Mm. Ramsdale made a great save at the end, but the rest of the game he didn't really have to do a lot. Mm. Let's be real. We were peppering their goal at times. We were really, really close, keeping it, especially first half. I don't understand why we can't do that every week. Mm. Well, that's, it, that's it now, they've set a standard, haven't they? That's it. They've set a standard where you look on it and you say, right, you know what? I want to see that work rate every week or near to that work rate every week. They played with intent, they played with purpose, they played with hunger, they played with, we are going to batter these lot, we're going to do everything we can to make sure Tottenham do not win this game. And that's what we did. Today, the players, the manager, they represented Arsenal. They represented us as fans. Us as fans, we represented ourselves in the stadium. We made it a fortress today. Tottenham fans were leaving in the first half. When, why can't we do that to other teams? We love it. We love it when we make that happen. The goals, Saka, Smith-Rowe, unbelievable players. They're so young, they're so quick, they're so agile. They look after the ball. They mm. do the things that you would expect the experienced players to do. Mm. Yeah? Aubameyang, how many headers did he win today? Mm. You wouldn't expect Aubameyang to you win headers. Funny it's enough, like I was pointing out to somebody that actually last week at Burnley, he did the same thing. He won a, he won a load of headers, but there was never anyone For running in bit, behind yeah. for it. But yeah, he, his work rate today was yeah, faultless. It was brilliant. And, as a defender or as, as the back line, you're thinking, oh, our striker's actually winning the headers, so we'll keep doing it. We'll, mm. We can kick the ball up to you, mm. get us forward another 10 yards, and then you think, oh, okay, this works. We might not win the ball all the time in their half, but if he's winning the headers, that's an incentive to keep moving forwards. Because mm. if we can header it back to their goalie, we can keep them in their half, and that's what we did. They, they struggled today. Every time Dyer got the ball, he was shaky. Sanchez got the ball shaky. Odegaard, Aubameyang, all the time pressing him. Tommy Asu, I haven't been to Arsenal since we played Chelsea. That guy's great. I've never seen him perform so well. Solid, solid. He won his headers. He did really good stuff when he was on the ball. Party dominated the midfield. Odegaard did really, really good things on the ball. And the two centre-backs, was Harry Kane playing? Was he playing today? I don't think he was. Because the way that we performed as a team nullified Tottenham's threats. Deli Ali had to go off. Dumbe. Mora, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what I mean. <laughs> Deli Ali had to go off. Lucas Mora, he's a good, very good player. Didn't do anything. Son, very good player. Didn't do anything. Harry Dumbe Kane, was it that they were really poor today, or was it that we were really good? Or, or, or is it that he wants to leave? Well, maybe you never know. <laughs> but I'm at, I'm at end on two things. North London is red. Will always be red forever. And everywhere they go, Tottenham get battered. Everywhere they go.